and welcome to another episode of A Diary of an Artist. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Jamie and I'm an artist and illustrator based in the UK. I've been working as a professional artist since 2015 and my videos show the good, the bad and the ugly sides of forging a career as an artist. I lead art workshops, I paint commissions and I draw wildlife too and my videos are a mix of what I've been up to, practical painting demonstrations and gear reviews. It's been a while since my last video which featured my visit to the new David Hockney exhibition at the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge. The link to that video is here. Since then life has been a bit chaotic for various reasons but I have managed to get some artwork completed. First off I can now officially introduce the latest children's storybook I've illustrated called Drew's Fab Jab. Published by Cambridge Children's Books and commissioned by the Cambridgeshire and Peterborough NHS Commissioning Group, the book follows Drew, a small mouse as he takes a trip to the doctors to receive a jab. Along the way he meets various animals who help him to make his mind up about getting the jab. He doesn't understand what a vaccine does, so his wise teacher Owl shows him how they work. His good friend Badger shows him how to be brave and not to fear being injected. Playful Dog, who loves to make his friends laugh, tells Drew a joke, which helps him to smile and to look forward to the jab. Next, Drew meets Cat, who teaches him how to relax and be calm while getting his jab. Over 8,000 copies of the book have been printed and handed out to hospitals, local practices, libraries and schools across East Anglia to help children and their families make informed decisions about vaccinations. It's been an amazing project to be involved with. Copies of the book can be brought from my website if you'd like a copy for yourself. I also managed to complete this large oil landscape painting. This was a canvas which had previously been painted with acrylics but I wasn't very happy with what I'd created so a quick sanding to remove a lot of the impasto work and in the space of a few hours disappeared on the canvas. Inspired by the fen and sunsets we get I wanted to express something tranquil, peaceful with this one. At the weekend we took a trip to the Cambridge Botanical Gardens. This slice of paradise is situated about a five minute walk from Cambridge Rail Station and it always amazes me just how beautiful this place is. There's a huge range of plants to see as well as different glass houses to experience, each one representing a different climate from around the world. It really is like walking into the rainforests of Asia or South America. There are so many fantastic vistas across the gardens, including from this viewing deck, which takes you up to see the trees and planting from a different perspective. It's a great opportunity to take photos as well as sketching materials to sit and draw or paint the gardens. I'll definitely be going back soon with mine. I have arrived at St Helen's Primary School which is in Bloodersham in Cambridgeshire and I'm here today to meet Hawk Class. Now the reason that I'm here is because unbeknown to me they had been looking at my paintings on my website and had used me as an example to do some offending pictures and they got in contact and asked me some questions about what I do and how I make my paintings. And then they asked whether or not I do school visits. So my first time over here at this school. So I've got a few, just a few paintings with me and some materials. And yeah, see how we get on. 